What are we gonna do in here? <laughs> you see this? Woo woo! She's flashing. Oh, it's just a toilet paper holder. That's kind of cool. Let's get that out of the way. I've got a common toilet seat here. And it's time, it's time to replace this toilet seat. The reason why I know that is because it's it's starting to discolor and there's also a little button here that's broken that's been smashed off. Where is it? Right there. That's been smashed off and it's discolored and it's it's probably, oh I don't know, eight or nine years old. Okay, so we're going to replace that. Now I've, I've shown you before on my channel how to replace a toilet seat like that. Now here's the one thing you want to remember. When you go to the store, before you go to the store, you want to take a look at your toilet seat. Now this is a heavy, heavy uh, wood uh, insert inside of here and it's got this covering on the outside. You might think, well, what's the big deal? Well, you go to the store and there's 20 or 30 different toilet seats uh, to pick from. So you wanna, what you wanna do is you wanna look at your toilet seat, look and see how the connections are and what thickness it is and kind of feel it. You, you could even take a picture of it on your phone, take that with you, you know, because when you get there, you don't wanna have any questions whether or not it's white or off-white or almond or elongated or round one or metal uh, fittings back here plastic whatever because when I went to the store I was with my dad and he said he just needed a toilet seat so we were in there I didn't look at his toilet seats before and so we got a plastic one and the plastic one uh, it's a little bit different than this. It's not as heavy as this. Now this one here, if you slam it or something, you could possibly crack it or smash these ends like, like this one happened, okay? If you got kids or something, you might want to get one of the plastic ones. You know, it's a heavy plastic one. We, could, we brought that back here and, and I didn't want to put it in. I said, nope, we're not putting it in. We're gonna match your existing. It's always best to match existing, especially if you have two or three toilets in your house. You don't want to have different toilet seats in different rooms, preferably. You know, I always like to try to match everything. So I made them go back to the store and get the right one. So there's a tip for you. Before you go get your toilet seat, measure yours, look at it, take a picture of it, see how thick it is, and try to match it up as best you can. Now, obviously, if you want a, uh, one that closes automatically or closes down by itself you know without slamming you can do that so does it have to match no it doesn't have to match exactly but um, you know just wanted to give you that information so that you can decide for yourself I wasn't going to show you how to take a toilet seat off but it, it's very simple Usually you'll see some plastic caps down here. Now you can either pop them up with your finger like that and if they're really tight you can take a little screwdriver wedge that up in there and pop it open. Okay? Like that. Okay, now you either use a Phillips screwdriver or a regular standard screwdriver and just unscrew that. Most of, most of the toilets they have a plastic fitting underneath, you know, the nut and it's got a little wing on it. So you turn it a little bit and then that wing hits the side of the toilet. So you shouldn't have to hold it underneath, you know, to unscrew this until it gets, until it gets way up high. Then, then you might, you know, you're going to have to feel it. Now this one spins, okay, underneath. So I'm going to hold it and untwist it at the same time. Okay. And then I'm just going to do that to this one here. That's the new one? Hey. Hey! Hey, sleepyhead! Oh man, I was sleepy. Well, get up at 3.30, what's sick. This thing goes on forever. You haven't got the new one on Just it. holding it from underneath. Yeah. And I can unscrew that, like that. See, oh, wait, see, the little, see the little tab on there? Sometimes that hits the side of the toilet. Other times it doesn't. Now this one here, 
it didn't really. So I had. You got the same kind of a seat that I had to hang on to it here. It's cooler. And cool. unscrew it. Okay. Now, so, now your toilet might be slightly different. It might have a nut underneath it that you have to hold with a pair of pliers or some, uh, you know, a little small crescent wrench or something like that. Okay. Once you do that, just lift this puppy up and throw it away. Make sure you clean that before you put on the new toilet seat. Mm. Probably should have gloves on when you do this. Do as Joe says, not as he does. <laughs> Simple Simon. Just put this other one back up here, line it up, and see it comes with the same little plastic inserts, the screws, and the ends. That put fits underneath. One. Okay, so just push it down in there. Put the old one in that box. Reach underneath here. Put the I'm going to start it yeah. with my hand as far as I can go. Yeah. Now some hits the side of the toilet. This one's not hitting the side of the toilet. So I can just hold on to it and spin it on there for a while. Okay. Tighten it from the top. And I can do this one the same way. Tighten it from the top. And you, you... Hey, are you telling me what to do, old man? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but it's true. You are uh, getting kind. Of, you I'm are right. getting kind of old. Well, let's see if I'm in the right ballpark. Okay, so I'm I'm holding it underneath so it doesn't spin, and I just I want to get it kind of snug, but not all the way just yet. Okay, I want to line up the front. Man, I'm not very good left-handed here. Just hang on to that good. and keep twisting it. Okay. Okay, before you get it tight all the way, let's see. You just wanna you just wanna stand back. You wanna stand back here and line up this front edge. Yeah. See how I can push it forward. I can push it forward that way or pull it towards me. I wanna pull it towards me and I wanna line it up from left to right. See? It's step three. Okay, so right there I'm gonna hope that it doesn't move and I'm gonna make this a little snug lift the seat and see if I look at it. that I think these to go over just a hair and I still have a little bit there okay I'm gonna hang on to that and tighten this and it's not spinning now it's snugged up and it stops spinning now if your toilet Nut keeps spinning. You can reach underneath it, like I said before. Okay. Now, see that slid. I don't like that. What happened with that? Guess I'm going to have to tighten up this left side first. Now, if you had somebody here with you, you hold it. You can hold it that way. But I'm going to try holding it with my knee here. No. Okay. Strip it either. Oh. And hold it. Okay, Kavoink, one toilet seat installed. Lift the bottom up. Okay, now there's little nibs here and you just push that down. This Snap tight. it down like that, okay? Pretty tight. That's all there is to it, okay? I know you can do that. If I can do it, you can do it. We hope. Hey, Bobby! Sitting on the pot. Ah, uh -huh, I caught you. Okay, now tell me, tell me what what the situation is here. You're having a hard time getting off up and yeah, off the toilet. Uh, when I had the, when we they built the house, I had to make sure they put the blocks for future grab bars. Oh, you did? Yes, they have to do that by code. Okay. All the houses. Really? 
the blocks are in top, front and side. Okay. And well, so instead of using, I don't have the um, video Joe is not installed. The grab bars. Yeah. Yes, but I'll install some grab bars if you want to buy the grab bars. I'll put them in because I think you do need some. I, I get, use the handle for the door. Yeah, but and I go like this. Yeah, that's that's not that's not too wise. You're going to hurt yourself that way. Well, I do that. Okay. There's nothing else to hold on to. Now, do you remember the height was, isn't it 33 inches is code? 33 to 38, somewhere in there. 33 to 34 inches, sir. I've been a contractor, you remember? You used to inspect work, too, and it's 33 inches well, to the center. Now, I hope that they put grab bar backing in there that way. It's okay? There, but you can, so, we can check it. Yeah, I know how to check it without, to the low. without making a hole, too. Oh. There's a way to check that. Did you know that? Well, yeah, with his. Uh, That's if you got one, an electric, uh, electronic stud finder. Do you have one? I'm sure, I don't have one. Oh, okay. Well, I think you should put a grab bar behind you, and one off to the right. All right. Maybe just go like this. No, yeah. I have to put my hand down here. All right. And go like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, you get the grab bars, and we'll make a nice little video to show kinda... people how to install some grab bars. What do you say? If we don't do it this time, we'll do it next time. Oh, we're doing it this time. You got you got a couple it's more not days. On my list. You, I know it's not on your list. I don't want to it burden you with you, things. You got a couple more days for me to be here. A <laughs> couple more days, a couple more months. Not a couple more months. Forget oh, that. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna be caulking that tub pretty quick too, because I got I got it all clean for you, and I did it around the sinks. And yes. so now I hope one tube of caulking is going to be enough for these two sinks and this big old huge tub. I hope. Let's do the tub first. Okay. Go around it, and then okay. we've got an extra set, extra caulking. Well, or we may have to get some more because I want to use that. I want to use some special type of caulking. You can't just use any old type of caulking no. around there. Okay. All right. I guess I better get back to work. I'll get the caulking through.